Now, We 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Carson Meredith with 31 Triple Dollar. And I personally think one of the best views is right here on Montesano, just oh, yeah. overlooking the area. And you know, we're not at that peak yet. No. It's still late October. Let's give it till early November. Mm -hmm. That's when those colors are really going to be vibrant. Let's show you that map right now of what that foliage looks like across the southern U.S. This is courtesy of our friends at explorefall.com. You can go to that website, by the way, and you can get a forecast, if you will, as how those leaves will be changing over the next few weeks. So that yellow color you see across Tennessee, sneaking into Jackson, DeKalb, Madison counties, means there's a little bit of patchy color out there. Over the next couple of weeks, though, those colors will continue to change pretty quickly, especially by that first week of November. And these cold mornings and mild afternoons will make those colors even more vibrant about two or three weeks from now. Speaking of cold mornings, here you go. 41 in Hudsville, 37 in Decatur. It's 42 in the Shoals. Guttersville, you're checking in at 39. And while most of you have a clear sky, there's some fog still out there. But the big headline is the temperatures. We're about 10 to 15 degrees colder now compared to this time yesterday morning. That is what cloud cover will do. Clouds act as a blanket at night. Well, we got clear skies right now, so we lost that blanket. That's why our temperatures are so much cooler this morning. Here's your weather on the go with the Storm Tracker weather app. Full sunshine all day long, but look at that quick warm up. By 9 o'clock, it's 52 degrees. By noon, it is 68. Perfect afternoon to have your lunch break outside the office. Get some fresh air. High temperatures today, very seasonable in the mid 70s, but the sunshine is a one day deal. 31 triple dopplers quiet for now, but tomorrow the clouds return as do the rain chances. Unfortunately, our hopes of a good soaking rain are dwindling. It's looking more and more likely now that we'll just see a few hit and miss showers starting during the day tomorrow after nine o'clock in the morning. But Thursday night could have the better chance, if you will, for a few of those showers and maybe one or two rumbles of thunder. Today's just fine. Gorgeous fall day. Highs in the mid 70s, plenty of sunshine. No issues overnight tonight. This time tomorrow morning will be dry. No rain issues for your morning commute tomorrow. It'll just be cloudy. After 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, here comes our first band of showers moving into the shoals. And tomorrow's not a washout. It's just going to be that hit and miss kind of stuff all day. The better chance for those showers will be Thursday night, just after sunset around 7 o'clock Thursday night, when more showers develop right along the cold front itself. But you notice there's just not a whole lot of moisture with this system. In fact, there's a pretty good chance we are all done with the rain by Friday morning. That does mean a beautiful fall weekend is on the way, though. Plenty of sun both Saturday and Sunday with those highs in the low to mid 70s. And your 10 day forecast shows a small warm up by early next week. 77 next Tuesday, 76 next Wednesday. But we desperately need that rain and we don't have a whole lot of it anytime soon.